You see wood, I see art. I am a wood carver painter, master of three chisels, using relief carvings to put my vision into wood and on canvas. I prep, cloak, and chisel my art into wood, releasing its form, capturing stories and tradition. My work reflects the essence of my heritage. Early influences serve as lasting tributes to those pioneers, relatives who came before me, whose celestial guidance continues to sustain me in my spiritual and artistic endeavors. You have a really interesting story of having played basketball at UK, and you learned art along the way, but how has art become such an important part of your life? Ever since I've been a kid, you know, art has always been a passion for me. I've always loved wood. It's always been my first love. I mean, I've always created, ever since I was younger. But when I was playing basketball, those years kind of took away a little bit because I was concentrating more on basketball. And then once I was done, then I really, really got my passion back and get into the art. Can you tell us a little bit about how, how you started carving, where, where that inspiration came from? My great uncle was a wood carver, and uh, my brother, he taught my brother, my brother taught me. And so when I was a kid, he would make cars, he'd make toys, I mean, he would make everything. He never bought anything, he always made it. I always liked what he made, because it seemed like, you know, he put his spirit and his soul into it. And when you carve, you actually can you know, put your spirit and your soul into the wood. And I think that's what a lot of people are attracted to. So it's kind of been like a family tradition. It's an African-American tradition, an African tradition, a tradition for people all around the world to carve. And what's happening, and the one reason why I like to keep it going is because a lot of people now are not carving anymore. A lot of people, they buy stuff. The wood is living. It's just so much, you know. I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but but I'm really attracted to wood. I always have been, ever since I was a little kid. Can you tell us a little bit more about how the, your art evolved during this period and how it helped you to keep focused and stay productive? I start thinking about, you know, the good things. You know, start remembering the good things that happened. So I created some of these pieces. You know, like this one is called Hope, Joy, Trust. And the ladies, the guardian figures, it's out of the Southern tradition in Florida of uh, good luck pieces. I've never lived in a home where I didn't have one of these figures. My grandmother, she really believed in good luck and good spirit and always had the hope and joy around you. And so she always had sculptures around the house. So I just carry on the tradition. When the pandemic first started, there were so many mixed messages. Uh, people were, you know, saying this, people were saying that. You know, you had people who were, you know, against each other and then for each other. And so I had to find a, a medium of happiness somewhere. So some of the works you'll see was when I was really frustrated, and then some of the works you'll see when I was really hopeful, and then some of the works you'll see when I, you know, was really joyful. And so I was going through a lot of different emotions. And then finally, you know, I came to a place to where it was happy, but I think a lot of it was due with it being dark outside. The worst part of the year for me is October because it's so dark. And so that's why my work was really heavy. So when I looked at it, I said, you know, all the dark October work I put away and I didn't bring it back out. As it got lighter and lighter, I started to feel better and better and better and more hopeful. So that's why you'll see like, the superheroes that came out. It was like you needed something positive in the world. And so to me, as a kid, and even as an adult, I re always remember Superman, Batman, all these figures, you know, being positive figures, you know, that everybody could gravitate to. They kind of had like a unity to them, no matter who or where you're from. And so that was what I was thinking about when I was doing it. And the one figure is Superman. You'll see the people, and you'll see the sun, and you'll see a heart there, which represents, you know, Superman coming in, swooping in, saving people, kind of turning the world back right again. So it was like, my take was, they needed help. Everybody, the government needed help. Everybody needed help. I think it's neat how these kind of relate to your Guardian series too. So, you know, there's uh, superheroes and Guardians kind of go together that they help protect us and, and we need, need some protection right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what the whole series was about. You know, not being so dark, and, you know, thinking about, you know, having good thoughts. They're especially important right now because it records, you know, what's happening in society. Uh, and I think 
when you, when you have a pandemic or, or you have this situation we're in now, I think artists become more creative. I, I've seen a lot of fantastic work. It, it's just important because it also, it, it gives you hope, it gives you joy. And I wish more people were involved in the arts. So LaVon, what do you hope people take away from this exhibition? You know, I hope they take away joy, peace, and I, I hope take away understanding of my experience going through the pandemic. All the, the phases I went through, the ups, the downs, the depression, to the joy. And I hope when they come in and they experience it, they find a welcome, a joy, and a peace in my pain and in my pleasure, in my joy. It's what I hope they take away from it. Hi, I'm John Goman, Regional President of PNC Bank. Thank you for joining us for this virtual tour of PNC Presents Lex Arts Gallery Series. The arts are critical to the vitality of Lexington and PNC is proud to support the work of Lex Arts and the many artists and arts organizations across Central Kentucky. With assistance from PNC and many others, our local arts scene generates 32 million in annual economic value and sustains over 1,200 full-time jobs. The work of the artists and the arts organizations supported in part by LexArts Fund for the Arts engages nearly a quarter of a million young people every year. Again, thanks for joining us and I'll see you on the next edition of PNC Presents LexArts Gallery Series.